Salman, the boxing world, we've been hearing Fury, Wilder, Joshua, we've been hearing all that talk. But today, Friday evening, the boxing world has come to a standstill. The internet has broke because Manny Pacquiao, the Filipino legend, who's coming off a Keith Thurman win two years ago, inactive, not been in the ring. When he gets back in the ring in August, it'll be two years out the ring, 42 years of age. Be fighting, unified, welterweight, superstar boxer, Errol Spence, Errol the Truth Spence, who's coming off a dominant performance against Danny Swift Garcia. Manny Pacquiao shooting for the stars, shooting for greatness in this fight against Errol Spence. Daring to do what he's done all the way throughout his career. Can he do it? Can he shock the boxing world for the, la for the last time? And dethrone the undefeated unified welterweight champion? In my opinion, I think... You know, obviously he's he's a world class fighter. Before before you get into it, before you get into it, you were one of them that actually thought that Pacquiao could beat Spence. You were one of them, even no, though I, I didn't. Think he just can, I think he can beat any any of these guys right now. I, 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 really? I, I, I don't think. I just think I think he has a potential of beating any of these. What guys. chance do you give him against Errol Spence on August twenty first? I give him a good chance. I think he's a world class fighter. He's durable. He's tough. He only stays in the gym. He's consistent with his work. I give someone like that a good chance. You know, he's got great skills. You know, I think he definitely has a chance to win in this fight. For sure, he's definitely a live dog. He's not going in there for, you know, he, he, he's, it's going to be a it's going to be a fight for sure. Because you know, what Manny Pacquiao brings, he brings speed. He brings heart. He brings. He's he's gonna he's gonna fight, and that's what that's what people want to see. But Salman. We saw him against Keith Thurman almost two years ago. It was a great performance where a lot of people thought that Keith Thurman would beat Manny Pacquiao. But Manny Pacquiao proved everyone wrong. But we have to pick up on some of the points where we thought Manny, towards the end of that fight, the stamina looked an issue. The stamina looked an issue towards the back end of that fight. Keith Thurman was catching him with some big shots. And one thing we know about Errol Spence, he's all about that relentless pressure. He's all about walking you down. He's all about that, that pressure. Do you think Manny Pacquiao, at the age of 42 years of age, can cope with that strength, that size of Spence, and that relentless pressure? But realise, obviously, if he's fighting a young fighter, he's always going to be the underdog. But obviously, that's for him to prove us, you know, what he's got left. You know, I think it's going to be a tough fight for him because I think obviously styles make fights. I think Keith Thurman was more wild, but I think Spence is going to be more precise with his punching. Um, you know, Spence also has a better jab. He's a lot. He's going to keep it probably a lot more at range. Um, but you know, if you let Pacquiao get into his little rhythm, then he can take you apart. You know, he's shown it. Um, but do I think Spence is someone that? Do I think Spence is as crisp as someone like Mayweather? I, I don't. I, I think spend. I think Pacquiao will. If if Pacquiao, you know, is one hundred percent, you know, determined it for his fight, he, he, you know, he comes in like the Pacquiao we've seen in the past. I think this is a hard fight for Spence stylistically because Spence Spence isn't as fast as Mayweather. He's not got the. He's not got the. You know, he's not got that sort of skill. He's going to be taking a lot more shots, um, and I think this fight, if Spence is going to win this fight, it's going to be. It's going to be. You know, uh, a fight where he's having to walk Pacquiao down and really put a lot of pressure on him. You know, he's not going to, I don't think he's going to win by, you know, I think Pacquiao, if, if Spence just choose to stay on the back foot and box, I think Pacquiao could easily outwork him. Um, because Spence is a pressure fighter, you know. I, 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 can't, I, I just don't think he's, from what I've seen thus far, I don't think he's good enough just to stay on the outside against someone like did against da, Did against Danny Garcia. But the difference is, Danny Garcia, he's not. The thing is with Manny Pacquiao, he could just... If Spence wants to keep you on the outside, then Manny Pacquiao could just be in and out. You know, just letting his fast combinations go. And, you know, he could just be... He could just run rings around Spence, you know, by doing that. You know, Spence has to, in my opinion, has to take the fight to Manny Pacquiao and make it a dogfight. 
I think that's it. That's how he's going to win this fight. If he chooses to box and move, then he's not going to be applying any of the, you know, any of his. Yeah, but remember, Spence is a taller guy. He's got longer reach. He can keep it. He can keep it. He can keep it long. I, I, I just don't think. I just think Manny Pacquiao will. If he tries to do that, I think Manny Pacquiao will just try to, you know, throw fast combinations and just get out of there. You know, he'll. he'll, he'll I just don't think. I think if he's going to win this fight, he needs to make it a dog fight. You know, you can't give Manny Pacquiao a chance, you know. But let's see. It's, it's a fascinating fight. But do I, I, I don't think Spence will dominate dominate uh, Pacquiao how someone like a Mayweather did. I, I just don't think he's good enough um, to do that. Um, I just think he's, he's, he's a lot slower. He's not got... He's, he, he, there's a lot of things that Pacquiao can, you know. There's a lot of things that Pacquiao which I think will trouble Spence. I definitely think the speed is going to trouble Spence, for sure. A hundred percent, but I think... But somehow there's the foot speed there. Is the foot speed still there? He's 42. I think it definitely is there. I think it's going to trouble Spence for the early rounds, for sure. First five, six rounds, he's going to be troubled. You know, maybe for Pacquiao wears down, down the stretch, I don't know, but I know for a fact that foot speed, that hand speed is going to trouble Spence, for sure. He's not, he's not been in the ring with that sort of speed and... You know, it's, it's, it's different when you're in there with him. The guy's a clever boxer. I think Spence will struggle. This is not going to be an easy fight because the thing is, Spence, in my opinion, he's not no Mayweather. So he's going to struggle against Pacquiao. Simple as that. If he doesn't, if he does school him, then fair, fair, fair play to the guy. Fair play to the guy. But I can't see that happening. I, I can't see him just... I can't see this being a one-sided fight. I think it's going to be a tough fight for Spence. Very tough fight. Salman, um, we've seen Spence's chin, granite chin. We've seen him take good, good, good shots. We've seen him go up against Kel Brook. We've seen him go up against Danny Garcia. We've seen him go up against Mikey Garcia. You know, we've seen him go up against Sean Porter in a war. Has Manny Pacquiao got the power to hurt Errol Spence? Thing is, of course he does because he's got the speed. You know, that speed can catch you off guard. You know, he can stun Spence. He can. He's a lot better fighter than that, all of these guys that we've just mentioned. He's a lot better than those guys. You know, although he's older, but he's still better than those guys. Let's not. Let's really be honest. He's better. He's better than. He's better than Sean Paul. He's be, way better. Way better than Kel Brook. He's better than Danny Garcia. You know. So you've got to realize this is this is going to be a hard fight for Spence. Is this Spence's toughest fight in his career so far? I think this could. Yeah, for sure. I, I think this could. This could, this could maybe even end bad for Spence, you know. You, you just don't know. You don't know because the thing is, you've got to realise that Pacquiao is a very clever fighter as well, you know. Pacquiao, people just think he's got a lot of hand speed. He's got, you know, he's a very clever fighter in there. He, he's a very intelligent fighter. I can't see this fight. From what I've seen thus far of Errol Spence's career, if anyone tells me this is an easy fight for him, then... I don't know what 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 they're thinking because they don't know they, they don't know that the thing is Manny Pacquiao is a dog as well you know he's not just gonna he's not he's not gonna be overruled by the occasion or he's coming to fight you know he's gonna come and he's gonna give it to Spence and I'm telling you this is gonna be a hard fight for Spence people are writing off Pacquiao but the guy gave if you were think about it like if Thurman was to fight Spence that would be a good fight that would be a great fight mm. you know and. Pacquiao, Pacquiao did a number on Thurman. If you look at it, he dropped him. He beat him up in that fight. He nearly knocked him out in that fight. In a couple, of, but Keith Thurman was gasping for air, and Keith Thurman was a like he was a unified champion. Well, not at that point, but he was. So you got to realize this guy's a this guy's a serious talent. And don't be. I, I'm not I won't be surprised if Pacquiao wins. I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't be a surprise to me. He's just that good. He's a great fighter. You know, if people are surprised that if Pacquiao wins, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised either way because obviously Spence has his has his attributes, you know. But you mentioned something there. You said Pacquiao's got a lot of dog in him. Um, how much how much do you think that's gonna be important in a fight like this? I definitely think it is because from what I've seen against Thurman, he was taking flush shots on the button and he was he was there. He was, he, he was, he was, com he was, and let, let's, be, let, let, let's be honest, he was a wobbled hurt, his legs he was, didn't work. He was telling Thurman, come on, yeah, let's fight. Yeah, this is a different sort of, this guy, this guy's in a fighter where he's just spurring someone on, but has no skills himself. This guy's a type of fighter that has dog in him, 
He's got hand speed. He's got foot speed. He's got ring IQ. This is Spencer's hardest fight. No doubt about it. I don't care what anyone says. But even at 42, Manny Pacquiao. Even at 42 years old. I think Pacquiao's a dog. I think he's just... He, the thing is, you've got to realise... Spence, Spence, Spence is in for a hard night. For, that's all I know, for sure. I know it's going to be a hard night for him. Whether he wins a fight, but it's going to be a hard fight. I cannot see, like, stylistically how... It's going to be an easy fight because I don't think Spence is that great of a boxer where you can just neutralize someone like a Pacquiao. As I said, like someone like, look, the thing is, Mayweather was one of a kind, right? He was able to neutralize what Pacquiao was doing offensively because he was that great. But I don't, I don't feel, I respect, I'm pretty sure people will agree. I don't, I don't see, I don't, I don't see that same, I don't see, I don't see the same class in Spence. I don't see it. I think he's more there to be hit. I think someone like Pacquiao could hit Spence a lot. Uh, because I just think I don't think Spence has got that. Spence isn't the style where he where he you know he tries to avoid. He likes to have a tear up. You know he's not a type of guy that box and moves. He likes to take it to you. Like he can against Garcia. He showed oh, that. Oh no! But the thing is against Garcia, that's not that's against Garcia. I'm talking about proper. He, you really think he's gonna like? For example, if he fought Crawford, he could outbox Crawford. No chance because he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not elusive enough. He's he's a guy that comes forward and bashes you up. That's so what, what? So are you saying that because Danny Garcia was obviously that we know that Danny Garcia is known to have slow feet, not the fastest feet, uh, and he like you know he likes to counter punch, hit you with big shots. Whereas Danny Garcia has lost all of his big fights. Sean Porter he lost against. He lost against Keith Thurman. He lost against Spence. He's lost all of them. So let's not. The thing is that. Pacquiao's a different beast to those guys, man. No, but pa he did he did beat Khan. He did beat Matisse. They he were big. Uh, Danny Garcia. Yeah, but with the Khan, when he wasn't winning that fight, he was getting out box, and he just he just let a left hook go, and he landed. That's not you know. What about all the controversial fights he's had? Yeah, the, yeah, the, thing yeah. Is, true, the true. guy's not listen. Danny Garcia is an average fighter. You know, he's a good. I, fighter. I wouldn't say he's average. He's a good fighter. Boy, no, good fighter, but he's not. He's not the elite fighter. He's a. He's a. He, no, nah, he, he's a. I would call him a great fighter. You want to call him a great fighter? What I, I, what I, I call actually, a great fighter is someone like Manny Pacquiao. That's what I call a great fighter. But no, Manny Pacquiao is an elite own. fighter. He's a legend. Yeah, he's a legend. But, but what my point is that this is going to be a hard fight for Earl Spence stylistically. I'm telling you, it's going to be a hard fight for him because the thing is, if, when you look at Spence's how Spence fights, Spence hasn't got the fastest feet, right? Yes, he's got good fundamentals, but he's got nothing. There's there's nothing when you look where you look at Spence and you like wow. That this guy, this guy, look how good his like head movement is. He, he's he's a good fighter. He's got good fundamentals all around, and that's why he gets two fights. He had a hard night's work versus Sean Porter, right? Any good fighter, in my opinion, him and like I think Pacquiao and Spence. It's just people have their opinion because Pacquiao's old, but I know it's going to be a hard fight because Pacquiao's not a guy that has a glass jaw where he's going to get one shot and then just go down. Spence might win it, but it's going to be a hard fight for him. He's not gonna. He's not. It's not. It's not a fight where, you know, where he. They think that oh, he's just gonna walk through him. It's not gonna be like that. You know. Yeah, he might be a bit th better than than the Keith Thurman, but that doesn't mean he's gonna. Pack it. Pacquiao's a proper fighter. Proper fighter. And I think Spence needs to stop him. I, I think Spence needs to stop him. Really? I think so. You, you don't. You don't. You don't. I mean... don't think Spence. In my opinion, I personally think a fighter like Spence. If Pacquiao's the right game plan, can be outworked. Spence can be outworked. If Pacquiao uses his feet movement, if, if, if he doesn't get tired, right? If, if obviously Spence game plan comes off, then it's different. But I, if Pacquiao's a good night, I think he could outbox Spence, in my opinion. It'll be a hard one, but I think he can outbox Spence for 12, for 12 rounds. Not, he won't win every round, but I think he can win on points. If he, if he just goes in and out, because someone like Spence... Is not going to be faster than Pacquiao. Pacquiao could easily, could easily, you know, could easily just be going and out. You know, if he gets tired later on, then he, yeah, he might get stopped later on. But I think Pacquiao can cause a big up. But if people think it's an upset, in my eyes, it's not an upset. In my eyes, it's it's just you know, Manny Pacquiao is a great fighter. Um, but I think Manny Pacquiao can definitely pull this off. It's not. It's not. In my opinion, Pacquiao's fought many guys in like Spence. I, I've seen Spence, you know, a lot of times. He's a good fighter. He's a he's a top quality fighter. But I, I don't I don't see anything special in him. Where I see, I just think, wow, like how's he done that? Like, 
he's a he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter. He's got good fundamentals, but he's got he he's got not he's got he's not got anything where I think wow that's unbelievable. Like a lot of other people, you know, there are a lot of other fighters out there that in, that I think you know are you know not as good as someone like Spence. But you say that. But you say that. Danny Garcia, for example, Danny Garcia for um, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter. You talk about the fact that Danny Garcia lost his big fights. But let's look at those big fights. Danny Garcia lost by split decision, a very close fight against Keith Thurman that could have gone either way. Sean Porter, a lot of people thought Danny Garcia won that fight. Uh, and, and then Errol Spence dominated him and outclassed him. So didn't Errol Spence show that he's a cut above the rest? Oh yeah, but the thing is, Manny Pacquiao has also shown he's a cut above the rest because yeah, you've got to realise he battered Keith Thurman. It's not. It's not close. Danny Garcia didn't batter Keith Thurman. No, no, no. Errol Manny I'm not, Pacquiao I'm, battered him. No. Busted what him. You, what, what do you mean battered him? In terms of he was gasping for air. He was about gone in that. That, that fight. was a close fight, though. Oh yeah, in the end maybe. But what I'm saying is that he was gasping for air. He was get. Look, when you look at his face at the end of the fight, the same energy he had before the fight, he was like, "Crap, this guy can fight." You know, no, no, and no. Spence, uh, Spence isn't that greater, in my opinion, than someone like a Thurman, where there's a gulf difference, where he, it's going to be a hard fight. But what I'm, try what I'm trying to say is that Spence showed against Danny Garcia that he was a cut above, he beat him quite soundly. No one's able to beat Danny Garcia like that. So it's a great fight. It's a great matchup. It's one of those matchups where you can't really say, you can't really say because we can't really, we can't really compare. The thing is, Manny Pacquiao is levels above Danny Garcia. Everyone knows yeah, that. Yeah, oh yeah, everyone yeah, knows yeah. that. Like the thing is, yeah, but he's forty-two. Going so people, man. he's forty-two. He's 42. People, the thing is, like even 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 for example, Danny Garcia. There's been a lot. He's had a lot of controversial fights. A lot of people thought he lost against loads of people, you know. But like for example, they say the Carmen. But let's be honest, he just got he got caught with a lucky shot. No, not lucky shot. Come on, he, that left hook had wiped people out before. He's wiped quite a few people out. I won't call it yeah, a lucky what shot. My point, what my point is is when he's gone to the whether people say it's a controversial decision or what. Three times he's gone okay. and he's lost. So he, his controversial decision was against Herrera, which a lot of people thought he lost, and Lamont Peterson, which a lot of people thought he lost. But but okay, Bar Herrera, Lamont Peterson's a really good what fight. About Judah. No, Judah was a close fight. Judah was. I thought he won that. That was a close fight, but I thought he was he comfortably won that. But but the Lamont Peterson won and the Herrera won. People thought he lost those. Um, They're not even. By the way, these guys aren't even like the top top, top elite guys. By the way, Lamont Peterson and Herrera won the top guys. But Lamont Peterson was a quality fighter. Quality fighter, but he wasn't the top top dog. You know. Yeah, he yeah. Wasn't I on the level of like a Spence or you know. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Thurman, you know what people thought. But anyway, I, I actually I think Lamont Peterson in his prime could have given Thurman hell fire. At what uh, weight though? At one forty seven, he could have given him hell fire. Um, I think Lamont Peterson was no joke. Um, let's not forget his fight with Amir Khan was an absolute war, and he gave Khan. I know he ended up winning that fight, Peterson, but. A lot of people thought Khan beat him. Yeah, but we can't really say that. We, you know, he put, tested, but that was something else. But whatever, that, you know, put that to one side. You know, Lamont Peterson was a great fighter as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, whatever, he, you know, he was, a, he was a very good fighter. But anyway, anyway, in terms of, in terms of um, this fight, right, who are you picking? Who are you picking? Who's your pick? Tough one. You know, I, I, at the minute, obviously, I'll probably say it's a 50-50. You know, I don't really know who to pick. I can't really pick right now. You know, maybe when it gets closer to the fight, I don't really have a prediction at the minute. I, I, don't, I genuinely don't know. I'd have to probably see, you know, how Pacquiao's looking up to the fight. I, I can't really, I, I don't know. I don't know at the minute. But I do know that it's going to be a hard fight because of the sheer fact that Errol Spence has got a lot of dog in him, and so does Pacquiao. And when two guys that have a lot of dog in them meet, it's going to be an all-out war. And this this fight's going to be an all-out war, you know. But I think with the right game plan, at the age of 42, I think Pacquiao can shock people again. Well, to me, it wouldn't be a shock, but I know that he has a... If he if he's 110, 100% in this fight, I don't know, it can... I think Pacquiao could take it. I think Pacquiao could take it because is Spence going to blow him away with a shot? 
Is Spence going to wear him out? Is it's going to be a tough one for Spence because Spence, if you look at it, Pacquiao is an elite level fighter. Do you really see Spence knocking Manny Pacquiao out? I don't think so. I don't think he can knock him out. I just think any elite level fighter Spence will fight. They'll be able to. They'll be able to take his punishment and they'll be able to get through the fight. In all the big fights he's been in, Garcia, Porter, apart from the Brook one, which nearly went the distance, I think he's gone, he went 12 rounds with Mikey Garcia, smaller guy. So I think, I think Pacquiao has the capability for sure to go the distance. And if he gets tired and he gets, because of his age and stuff, and he's, he's been inactive, that could catch up to him. But I think he could easily last 12 rounds for sure. Pacquiao, seven, eight years ago, I would be confident that he would beat Spence and he would be able to last 12 rounds, for sure. Now, I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't really know because obviously I don't know what he's been doing over the last two years. He's been inactive since the Thurman fight. So the thing is, now we've got to just see which Pacquiao turns up. But if it's the Pacquiao, the same one that turned up against Thurman, the one with the, that we've seen that had dog, that could take the shots, that was fast. There's no way it's an easy fight for Thurman. There's just no way because... I just can't see the. I don't. I don't see Spence. There's not much that much gulf of difference between someone like a Spence and Thurman, where you can say that Nah, man. You know, Spence is a whole new, different animal compared to Thurman. I just don't see that. So I might be wrong, but I think I think Pacquiao, if you know, he can stick stick to a good game plan. I think he could. I think he could win this. Give one. your give your prediction. We want to hear a prediction. Give it a prediction. What are who are you picking to win this fight? Who do you think is going to come out on top? August twenty first. Give your prediction. If it's the same Manny Pacquiao that that, that no 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 no, no. It's, it's a prediction. Pacquiao. It's a prediction. It's a prediction. Not on what what is saying whatever. You're giving your prediction on what you think as of right now. Who you think wins this fight? Give a give a pick. You're known for putting it out there. You pick Saunders to beat Canelo, so you put it out there. If if you believe Pacquiao's going to do it, if you believe Spencer's going to do it, put it out there. Who are you who are you going for and how? Tell me who you're going for and how. I think I think Pacquiao. If obviously if you want me to pick, then I'll, I'm I'm going for Pacquiao because the reason why I'm going for Pacquiao. Wow. Is because I just think that even through this COVID, he's he's the type of guy that would always be in the gym. Um, I don't think he's someone that, I think he's someone that's very consistent. And on that basis, if he was someone where I thought that, you know, he's had two years out, he's not going to be very consistent, then I wouldn't, then, then I would probably favour Spence. But I just believe that through this period where people, I think he's been probably sparring a lot. I think he's been, I think he's been training a lot. And I just think he's a, he's a constant professional. So on that basis... I think I think Manny Pacquiao is going to do this. I think Manny Pacquiao is going to beat Spence. And I don't think he'll knock Spence out because I think Spence is obviously too tough. And I don't think Manny Pacquiao has that same sort of pop right now to knock Spence out. I'd be very shocked if, if it knocked it. If it ended in a knockout, I'd be shocked. Um, but I think Manny Pacquiao could outwork him. Honestly, I think Manny Pacquiao could outwork him and Spence could... I think this fight could be a fight of two halves where Manny Pacquiao gets like a five, six round lead and then Spence is having to just, you know, walk him down and trying to try to get the other round, like, you know, try to get the remainder round. I think it could be a fight like that because Pacquiao has shown, you know, that the thing is with Pacquiao, he's a, he's a, he's a very well, he's a world class boxer as well. Spence has never been in there with someone with the IQ in a real fight like Pacquiao. You can't compare the likes of Brooke, Danny Garcia, Thurman. These guys haven't achieved half the things that Manny Pacquiao has achieved. You know, Manny Pacquiao's ring experience with the top level guys. Manny Pacquiao's been in there with better fighters than Spence. You know, that are going down better fighters than Spence. So you've got to realise he's got a wealth of experience on his side. And he's a constant professional. So you've got to go with Manny Pacquiao. That's a big pick there. Salman picks Manny Pacquiao to pull off the shock upset. There are a few people that think Manny Pacquiao pulls off the shock upset. What do you guys think? Will he do it? Will he do it? Will he, at the age of 42, pull off the shock upset and beat Errol Spence?
Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.